This is a tutorial about communicating with clients from NetSuite, particularly email. So I'm in a test client account. I have a test email address here. And what we're going to do is access the communications tab by clicking on it. And you'll see that down here there's a, an email button. So the great thing to note about NetSuite and what it does is that it will keep a record of every email as a communication that you send to a client. So that means that you can come back and refer to your emails that have been sent, but other people can also check and see what's been done previously, what sort of communications have been made to the client. So it keeps a, a running list of emails, which is very useful. So it's really simple. Click the email button, and this brings up an email window. It automatically loads the recipient's name from NetSuite and their email address. And this is in the section recipients. So this is to do with adding people. So let's say we had wanted to add and CC somebody else in here. They need to be in NetSuite. And so let's put my name in. So I begin typing my name, similar to the way that you do with the search. And NetSuite finds records. And I'll click on that. It automatically populates my email address and my CC. I could also be looking for employees or other types of records that NetSuite holds. So this is referring to my client record. If we were looking for my employee record, it looks different. So my employee record doesn't have a number in front. So I could add my employee record and you see it loads my access consciousness email address, my work address. And then you click add and you could continue and add some more people. Or if you made a mistake and you'd like that person removed, you click on that line item and you remove them. So we'll just stick with the, the client at the moment. Second section is message. And you could simply come down here, type in a subject and add some content. If you wanted to, this is showing up because I'm logged in as systems administrator and this is my default signature. But um, look, so what we're going to look at is we're going to load a predefined template. So this is one that I use for sending systems administration type information out. And I've created one here called email general client. So let's click that. And what that does is it loads a subject which will change and it loads some default information so you don't have to type this in every time. We'll come back to that in a minute. So let's simply update our subject. We'll call this test email from NetSuite. And if we look down here, you'll see hello, which is typing. This piece here is a dynamic field. So this will load whatever client records, client name, first name, um, into your email. This is to be replaced with the body text and we've got a default signature with um, Access's general phone number in there. So the way that you add these dynamic fields or the way that I've done that is you need to create a cursor position then you choose the the field type. So in this case it would be customer as we're sending this to one of our customers. And then in here you can either click and search or list. There's a, there's a function that pops up. Or you could actually type in say last name and that's what will provide the nearest field it can find. And so now we've got a dynamic field dropped in there. So I'll leave that in there so that we can see what that brings in the test email. So I'm just going to type in this is a test email. That's our message. Okay, good. And then the third thing to note here is this is where you can attach things to the email. Um, I won't go into this just a moment. I haven't looked into this myself. But this is where you attach the file. So you can click in there and look for a file that might be stored in NetSuite's resources. And that's another tutorial where that might be. Or you can actually click that across there and select a file from your computer and upload it. I won't go through all of that. I think it's fairly straightforward.
and then save and that will upload and attach the attachment to or the file to your email. Okay, so we're good to go. So what we'll do is we'll merge and send. So that bundles together, merges the recipients with the message. And you'll see down here that a new record has been created. There's the subject that we created and you can view that or remove it from there. So that's that's it. Let's go and have a look at where our email went to and what it looks like. So I've got a test account set up here. So there's our test email from NetSuite. Let's check it out. And then we can see that test100, the first name was loaded. Actually test100 is the second name, so that was loaded correctly. And there's the email that the person received. So thank you very much for watching.